is important because what imaging allows is uh, uh, pre-procedural planning. So you, 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 you can take a bit of time before the procedure to understand where the substrate is, what's the ap appropriate route, and also to pre-plan uh, uh, or prepare your ablation strategy. So let me walk you through how it, how, how it works and what's, what's available. So when, when the case is ready, you receive a notification, you go on your web portal, and then you have your list of patients. And each time you click on one, it opens this screen. So this screen is the review of your, uh, of your 3D model. You can check. So here there's, there was only our tail in on CT. If there was late GAD MR or late iodine CT, it would have shown here. And you can expand that and you can check what has been done uh, with respect to, to, uh, to um, um, uh, segmentation. But more importantly, you can review your case uh, you can obviously hide and and, and show show structures uh, 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 as you as you as you wish, uh, and uh, you can also annotate the model by, for instance, uh, leaving tags in certain areas, and then these uh, these tags. Uh, can help you understanding and pre-planning your ablation procedure. For instance, in this case, so Pierre will get to there later, it's uh, uh, our current approach to address uh, post-infarction VT is to uh, um, target the channels of preserved thickness within severely thin scar. And using that, we define our ablation strategy only based on CT. And we can pre-plan that in the, in, the, in, the, in the platform and then export it to uh, any uh, mapping system. So in the end, in the mapping system, these, this pre-annotation can be very interesting to be able to best see, see the, the, the catheters through the annotation. So you can navigate with uh, uh, an optimal uh, um, visualization and, uh, and without having too many, too many structures overlapped uh, because you you've, you've already done the interpretation of your, of your case, in fact. Hubert, can you can you get back to these images and, and um, sure. I noticed you had uh, the uh, papillary muscles mapped here. Uh, I mean, segmented. Could you could you uh, show them to us? I'm, I'm, I find it uh, quite interesting. Typically, yeah. yeah. Well, here it was an apical infarct, so it's not involved in the in the arrhythmia. But no, for sure, no. having these paps is uh, very very interesting for multiple cases. Absolutely, I remember cases where, yeah, yeah, I remember cases where it made a difference. It it really helped a lot. So I think it's good to see. <laughs>